Hi guys, happy lucky kings, and I'm just checking if this thing is recording. Y'all, I'm still getting used to this camera. Anyway, apparently it is recording. So, right, I've just come on to do an update video on what I've been doing with my hair, even though nothing much has changed, but I'll go through that in a minute. But before I do that, I want to give a thank you to the super sweet who made this gorgeous, gorgeous, see headband um she had worn a similar one in one of her videos a long time back now um earlier in the year and i inboxed her and asked her if she would make one and um she did and i bought it and this has been sent a while and i never got it um but i know the kind of the postal system here is kind of whack same thing happened when i ordered earrings from tony de la 80 and I had to have those, um, I had to do a reorder and ship to New York. And in the end it came after the package been around the world and back. This package didn't look like it had been around the world. I got this yesterday. Um, it just looked like it had been sitting there even though I kept going and I kept asking specifically for it, you know, for a package from Canada. Uh, it would be a small packet, nothing. Anyway, I got it, yeah, in the end. But I just wanna show you guys something. If you have a look, um, does it focus, of when this was posted, I'm not sure you can see the date, but it was posted on the 5th of April from Canada. I want to show you when it was stamped for here. That's the 23rd of August, y'all, seriously, April to August, anyway. No more about that. Thank you, the headband is gorgeous, the super sweet. I absolutely love it. And if I just take it off so you guys can see. It's um, at the back, it's elasticated so it stretches. And, and I can even, you know, fold it and pin it if I so desire when I have it on. <clears throat> but for right now, I'll just keep it as is because I don't want my hair to Sort of flat note. Okay, but I absolutely, absolutely love it. Thank you again. Um, anyway, moving on to what I, the other thing I came on to talk about, which is update in what I've been doing with my hair, my regime. Nothing much has changed in terms of um, product. I have added um, two different things, I guess to what I've been using. I pretty much stick to the same thing simply because, um, as you can tell, postal system hair, you know, getting things shipped to hair, it's just a bit of a hassle. Um, it takes a long while, so I only get things when I go away. And no, it seems only when I go away to the US. And so I just use what I have. No big deal, my hair loves it, that's fine. But the thing that I've added um, to my regime, I've I've kind of stopped using shampoos, um, you know, regular shampoos, and I guess I need to use them up, but anyway, I've been using um, a black soap for shampooing my hair, and this one was gifted to me by a very, very good friend of mine um, when I went to the UK, and she is a subby of mine, thank you girl, because um, I've been using this religiously. Now, normally when I've used black soap in the past, it's been very, very drying. I use it for my skin, and I do use this one for my skin. It's been very drying to my face, and I just have to increase the moisture. For some reason, this one, it says it's, um, can you see it? Does it come up backwards on camera? That sucks. Anyway, it says it's, um, Ghanaian black soap infused with raw shea, shea butter and virgin coconut oil. For some reason, this is what it looks like outside of the box. For some reason, when I use this one, it's not so drying to my skin and I've used it in my hair. It lathers, oh, it lathers so great. Um, it, it leaves my hair clean, but it doesn't leave my hair feeling very stripped, which is I just thought that was weird. I was really expecting it to be drying, but it's not. This one is really good. She got it from um, an eBay vendor. Um, if you want the details, I can ask her and I can put it in the description box. You know, 
if you so desire. Um, but that's what I've added and I kind of go back and forth. <clears throat> For the last, since I've been to the UK, I've only been using that. But before that, I've been using my Trichomania Poo Bar from Lush. Absolutely love it. Um, and I still got quite a bit left because I got a big chunk when I went the last time. Um, so I'll, you know, restock on that. And then um, I think one of my previous videos I showed you the Tresemme Naturals, which is my go-to conditioner now. Absolutely love this stuff. I love it in my deep conditioning mix. Um, I love it for um, my co-washes. It, it's, it's really good. And then the other one that I've added is um, Bedhead Moisture Maniac. Now, I used to use this a while back and I love it. And this is my first time trying it with my natural hair and I love it just the same. I, I absolutely love it. I haven't checked the ingredients and I won't check the ingredients. I just love it. My hair loves it and that's good enough for me. Okay. Um, basically, that's, that's basically the products I use um, in terms of cleansing my hair. Um, for moisturizing, it's still the same. It's still the Shea Moisture line, um, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie and the Curl and Style Milk. I alternate between those two. And for my leave-in conditioner, um, it's still between the Counter Shea Butter um, leave-in or the Giovanni Direct Leave-in. Just those two. So I'm really, really simple with my products at the moment. I mean, there are things that I would love to try. Um, oh gosh, the Owen Handmade stuff. I really, really want to try those. Um, for the moment, that's like the top of my list. And I, I might be getting that in a couple of months. I don't know, maybe at the end of the year, Black Friday sale, November. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I'll see. But I would, you know, those things are on my wish list. Um, keeping it real simple with my hair. For oils, um, I'm still using an oil mix um, between oil mix of uh, coconut oil, olive oil, my vitamin E oil, and I have another oil, sweet almond oil. Did I say that one? So coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, um, vitamin E oil, and sweet almond oil. I mix those and castor oil sometimes. Um, that those are the oils I'm using for my hair and then sometimes I will use if I just want sheen I will use um my Carol's daughter hair mimosa honey mimosa hair honey something like that anyway so that's it um let me see have I changed anything with washing with washing when I'm going to wash my hair like when I'm going to shampoo my hair or even when I'm going to do a co-wash, what I normally do now, which I am finding easier for me, I don't know if it's, again, it's because my hair is growing out, I just find it easier. I wet my hair first, um, and I'm sure I've explained this before, deja vu moment. Anyway, I wet my hair first, and I, you know, um, section it off, and put the conditioner in, detangle, and then twist. And then I go in the shower and rinse it out. Um, and then if I'm doing a, a, a shampoo with my poo bars, I put that in after I rinse it out with a twist still in. Um, sometimes if I can't be bothered, I put rubber bands at the ends of the twist so that they don't come out, um, so that I don't unravel. So I shampoo my hair, rinse, then deep condition, and still the twist in hair, in my hair. And I just find that so much easier when I'm finished all of that. All I, all I do then is just put on my leave-in conditioner and my oil and then untwist that section and if I'm going to do less chunkier twists then you know divide it into three, two, whatever. And I find that much, much easier than when I used to go in, wash and then detangle in the shower. Plus, I waste less water. And seriously, in these times, water, electricity, we've got to conserve people. Right, so I think that is it. Um, yes, and this will be my last video, I think, before school starts. School starts tomorrow, yay! Um, and then hopefully I can get back in the rhythm of making videos, doing, um, oh yes, protective styling. 
I haven't been doing very well, very well on protective styling recently. And I realized that with my hair, I feel that it grows a lot more and um, my hair doesn't break. So it, I can't say that it breaks less. It hasn't been breaking, you know, knock on wood. Um, but it grows a lot better, I think, when I do more protective styling, it grows faster. Um, and I haven't been doing that recently because I've kind of been lazy with thinking of ways to do my hair in a protective style. Um, and I just find like twists out. This is a braid out. I hadn't done a braid out in so long. Anyway, I digress. Um, yes, so I found that um, the twist outs, you know, it's, it's just a lot simpler. I don't have to think about it. I twist my hair, I pull it out and that's it. Um, but I will be trying um, I will be aiming to do to have my hair in protective style for at least two weeks for the month um, And I think that's very realistic So I will um, put a protective styling at the beginning of the week Sunday night And I wear it for that week. I may redo it midweek because I do my co-wash. I don't know um, See but I'll and then the other week I'll do you know have my hair out and then the other week I'll do protective style. So that's what I'm aiming for. Um, sort of like a growth challenge to myself. Uh, I, I did the protective style before and that lasted over a month I think and that was really, really good. I really saw um, extra growth in my hair. So I will try that. That's my next thing to aim for. Yes, so I think that is it now. I hope I haven't been rambling too much. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And guys, thank you so much for your comments on my last video regarding the books because I was really iffy about putting that bit on about sharing. But, you know, it's so good to get recommendations from um, people about the books they're reading and stuff that I um, would be interested in. And I will be going to my big bookstore to um, look for those books that were recommended Um uh, definitely by Mignon D. She recommended three Christian books and I've not read Christian fiction before so it will be really interesting um, Yeah, so I'll be looking into that and some of the books that uh, the Naprika recommended and some of some other ones I you know, I have them written down so I will be looking into that So thank you very much for commenting on that and it's it's just really good reading is a passion of mine And it's always good to get new authors new ideas, you know, um, not keeping the reading list stagnant Yes, and I do need a Kindle, people, really. Seriously, I do need a Kindle, but I don't know. I just love the feeling of the books and turning pages. I'm, I'm old-fashioned that way. But yeah, I do see the benefits of having a Kindle. So maybe, maybe in the future, that's in the future, uh, future purchase. Okay, so as usual, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers, old and new. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for rating. Um, you guys stay blessed, okay? Peace out, y'all. Bye.